Welcome to this episode of In the Grove. I'm Jeff Frankie. Now that things are starting to open up more, we're starting to do more village events. Today I've got Trustee Nancy Zarnick with me. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you. We're here to talk about the parade that's coming up and also Oktoberfest. So first, let's talk with the parade. What do we got going on with the parade this well, year? Well, our annual hometown parade is coming up on September 18th, Saturday. Kicks off at 2 p.m. And this year we're going to be doing something a little bit different because the Shriners are going to be join it, joining us. A number of years ago, and I can't recall how many, uh, we had a Shriner group. There we had probably 15, 20 units. Okay. But this time, <clears throat> their convention is in uh, Ill their convention is in Illinois, and it's at a neighboring uh, hotel, whatever. So they will have probably between 40 to 60 units with us. Now that's not just 60 cars. This no, is no, 60 no. units of groups. Correct. Wow. Every unit they have, they bring to the convention. Normally, they do a parade around the convention hall or whatever outside. Okay. But because they're so close to Elk Grove's parade date, their convention date, they asked if they could join us, and we were very happy oh, to yeah. see that. Uh, it really will be different, especially because, again, as you mentioned with COVID over, we now are looking to get more units. It's a little bit slower. It's a little bit harder for people to get together to try to get back into the groove sure. of things. Sure. So this was a perfect opportunity for both of us, and we're really looking forward to that. that I mean, we kind of lucked out with that happening at this time of year. Yeah. Um, and like you say, they've been practicing their movements, I guess, with the cars. They're uh, anxious All to. this time, they've been they're kind of like... Everybody is Cabin fever trying to get out yes. and do it and have a, a town parade. That would be great for them. One of the other things that I'm, I'm really happy with our theme is your favorite things so it's really open up to whatever our uh, units would like to decorate for and that I'm talking about our uh, community units okay now the village as you know Jeff we always have a phenomenal yes uh, we do <laughs> trustee pro, uh, something float. to dress up <laughs> <clears throat> yeah the other th new thing is that, of course, you know our lovely trustee float, which you're so anxious to appear on. Always. <laughs> this year we're going to be doing a little bit different. We're going to be able to thank our first responders. So we're asking police, fire, public works, um, hospital, and we're going to try to reach out to the food industry, uh, Jewel or whatever, to be able to acknowledge them and thank them right. and we're looking forward to having residents and we want a lot of people out there watching this to be able to applaud and show their appreciation That's fantastic to i mean to thank what the people for everything they've done over the last over a year almost a year and a half absolutely now. um and you won't have to throw as much candy they'll take care of that <laughs> that's true i really appreciate that my arm games gets Oh, we've got to keep save, save your arm for golf. That's that's the important thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good. Well, oh, that's fantastic. Um, so there'll be somebody, um, like one person from every yes. different group. Yes. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. I had, I haven't, I haven't thought or talked to uh, uh, our um, people. But what I was thinking of is to find out who would like to be in the parade, maybe do a drawing and have one person okay. come from that, uh, each group. Uh, or if they want to appoint somebody. But I don't want, I mean, the fire chief and the police chief get nah, it. Now we see them anyways. Yeah. You know, so, so we figured this way we would get, you know, the uh, patrol officers and, sure. uh, you know, the... Uh, the Para fire, firemen, paramedic, exactly. Uh, our some, public works, our, instead of driving the truck, they're going to be on the float. And people just, I mean, I, and it's not their fault. They just don't understand how much these people do out there. And, and you know, day and night. Yes. And, the, you know, even yes. before this, the sacrifice, but even what they had to deal with during Absolutely. COVID. And to, Absolutely. to reward them, I mean, it, for acknowledgement, that's fantastic. Acknowledge, that's the best way of putting that's, it, Jeff. Yeah, right. Yeah. We're finally, you know, we want to, I just don't think you can acknowledge Acknowledge them enough. And you really can't. You know? But we can try. That's it. That's exactly it. So we can try. 
And we're looking for bands, of course. Uh, we have a few lined up. Uh, I believe the Proviso Band is coming. Uh, Elk Grove, I believe, is coming. They haven't given us an application. A lot of times, they, everybody waits till the last minute. Procrastinate. It seems to be the life for everybody. But we're getting our uh, you know, applications turned in. And needless to say, I don't think we've said no to anybody. Well, you know, <coughs> with the uh, Shriners plus also our regular yeah. group of people, I think it's, it's going to be a big parade. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, what's the route that we're taking? Uh, the same route that we always have. We start on, we go down Elk Grove Boulevard. Uh, we start at Tawny, okay. uh, down straight down Elk Grove Boulevard, and it ends at Tower. Goes all the way up to the high school then, or does it end oh, at I'm Sharing sorry. Cross? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it ends at Sharing Cross and Lions Drive because okay. okay. we turn down around that. You're right. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Well, I mean, we used to go all the way up we there. Did. Remember, we did. We did. But uh, it was easier because of being able to have that turnaround at that yeah. and not block Arlington Heights Road because all of a sudden you're trying to turn there. Right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, uh, so uh, if you want candy, <laughs> make sure you're, you're not. Don't go beyond that. Yeah, don't. You always see a few groups of people down, and you feel bad. But you do, you do. We have to turn the parade around. Yeah, so. exactly. So, so besides uh, anything else new with um, the different groups, uh, oh. besides the Shriners having such a large group, um, and I know it's hard to try to get all, people haven't been able to practice together and all the rest, but is there, um, I remember we had a huge shopping cart. Do you remember? Was that oh. the light parade we used to have? Oh, the, that used to be Jewel. Jewel, Jewel had, had that, that huge, huge shopping, shopping cart. <laughs> they haven't participated in quite a okay. while. It seems like uh, maybe the wheel broke off. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, but you know, can't it's fix the world's it. biggest they shopping They haven't cart. talked to our public works department. <laughs> they would have taken care of it. You probably could fit about 60 Shriners in it. <laughs> probably could. Or the trustee. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we could about. put the trustees <laughs> in there. I have a few that I but know. But I'm on the parade, so I have to uh -huh. be out separate from that. Well, that's but, all right. Yeah. I'll put Pat in the front seat, you know, where normally You're the so kids kind. sit. You're so kind. You're so kind <laughs> so i know he's going to watch this and not be very happy but <laughs> okay so we're, are we televising this yes it is oh that's right elk grove uh, tv always televises our parade streams it live and then you can see it afterwards too okay. can watch it on on demand um you know that's, make it very convenient yeah for everybody. that's good because uh, well, sometimes people are out of town they have weddings or they have something that's else. true and uh they, so they'll be able to watch it live yes. on channel or yes. egtv and then also on demand afterwards if correct they want to, in case correct. somebody so again, makes a flub like i would probably do and they want to watch it over and over again so <laughs> we'll see how that goes but uh so uh besides the village float and that um we're not sure exactly. We're still trying to get some groups together. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, and again, uh, say the theme again. It's your favorite things. So, so it could be movies, Broadway shows, music, uh, anything, computers, yeah. whatever, whatever tickles your fancy. Yeah. And uh, we're just going with that. And not COVID. That's not a favorite thing. We're, no, gonna, we're, we're out with that. Yeah, well, we're done with that. No COVID votes. Exactly. Just votes, please. Uh, is there a charity drive at all with this? Not this year. Not this uh, year. We tried it, uh, well, because we didn't have 20, so 19. Did we have one? In yeah, we did. We I remember. Yeah. Uh, we tried that. Uh, it did not. It was it was difficult. Let's put it that. It's way. a long route to try to collect something. Yes. Yes. And, and to have a shopping cart going down and then the trucks, it, it uh, yeah it was can. not as successful as we had hoped. Yeah. So we're just going to do the parade in. I think the other reason is because we are anticipating many, many, many more uh, floats and units. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a little bit longer. Well, that's it. We want to kind of yeah. keep things moving. But we moving, have a lot to celebrate this year. Just being out, just the events we've had so far this year have been unbelievably <laughs> attended. I mean, so I think right. people are just, you know, cabin fever and... And want to get out and be safe you know people if they want to wear masks they wear masks that's Very great true. you know what Very i mean true. just get outside and yeah. see people i saw people i hadn't seen for a year and a half isn't that a, and and you saw their whole face yeah well i wasn't sure who i saw before well they're, they're <laughs> trying to recognize people by their eyes uh, alone yeah. is not not for me i really no i don't know with the masks I walked by my own son at a, shop, at a shopping center. I think I you even, did that on purpose, though. Well, let's not tell him that. But. Okay, well, is there anything else on the parade? 
I think you've covered a lot, yeah. Okay. We, well, we look forward to it. Again, it's the 18th. 18th. Um, it starts at? September 18th, 18th Saturday. Saturday, 2 p.m. Okay. Be there. And please, please help us celebrate. I, help us say thank I you to our first responders and to all the community groups that will be, you know, finally being able to say hello. And I hate to say this, but I never was a jinx person, but in case there is something weather-wise or that, where would people look to see if the parade was? They can go on uh, Elk Grove site. Okay, go to the Elk Grove go Village Grove website, website and we'll have an announcement we'll have there it, if yeah. there's anything Correct. that different, because I know people Correct. have asked in the past, you know, what is, I mean, yeah. is it gonna happen, is it not? So of course, if it's too hot, if there's lightning, or even if it's pouring rain. No, no, that's one we, we don't. No, no, we, we don't. No, do you it. don't. No, you don't. We have a parade. <laughs> do not rain on our parade. But we always take that into consideration. We, we, we take in. We do. You know. People's. Uh, as, you know, we don't want to endanger anybody. As the mayor said, we're flexible. <laughs> Firm but flexible. That's Firm a, but flexible. Yeah. The other thing is really uh, one of the reasons that we changed our date to September um, because of what we had. We used to get yeah the rain had, or the heat. Remember? The heat was the problem. We yeah. had to cancel it. You couldn't. Have We've never can't not technically. We never canceled because of rain. Flood, yes. <laughs> well, that's rain, true. Well, the boulevard was underwater. Yes. That <laughs> well, it would it could have been a flotilla. <clears throat> oh. Always looking out. See? Why weren't you? Where were you when I needed you, Jeff? Probably floating away somewhere. <laughs> could be. Could be. Well, then when the parade is over and then it's all done, what might we have after that? I'm leaving that entirely to our Oktoberfest Group B. And that is you. Well, I'd love to announce that. That I'd uh, appreciate we are that. having our Oktoberfest again this year. And it is actually on Friday night, the 17th of September, and also Saturday afternoon tonight on September 18th. Right after the parade, if people would like, they can come over to, um, uh, what do we call it now, uh, Rotary, Rotary Green. Green. Um, and we will have an Oktoberfest going on there. And it is for the families also. Now, of course, you know, we're going to have German food, and there'll be some German beer. but. During the day, on the uh, 18th, we're going to have events for families. There's going to, last time we, we just started putting it together. Yes. Of course, last year we didn't have it, the year before, um, and it, that rain word, but uh, we have uh, bouncy houses, we have bags, we have face painting, we're going to have all sorts of stuff for the kids. And then also the families can come and have German food. And um, for the kids, there'll be uh, you know, available Rupert floats, uh, giant pretzels, which the mayor loves his giant pretzels, uh, and uh, just a good time. Uh, there'll be German music. We have the band starting a little earlier on um, Saturday, um, but uh, bands will be playing Friday nights and Saturday night. And again, it's more adults, but families can come. This isn't um, you know just an adult kind of thing. It's just. Um, it's just to get out and enjoy, you know, Oktoberfest. We don't do it this, uh, the same time as other towns because we've uh, uh, Itasca is the week before yeah. and Palatine's the week after. So there's a lot of people that like to go to different Oktoberfests. So um, we're in the arrangements of uh, we're adding more things to it. How do we get tickets for that? Funny you should ask. You can buy tickets. In fact, if you buy tickets ahead of time, you get 20% more tickets for your dollar. And you go to the Village website, and you can go there and they'll direct you to a page where you can pre-buy your tickets. You can buy tickets at Oktoberfest, but you're only going to get the extra tickets if you buy them online and, and prepay. Mm -hmm. The tickets will be there for you when you show up to. I, you know, you've covered so much on that, and I'm so happy to see that you're going to be doing the family uh, oriented uh, uh, celebration for Oktoberfest, which I think is going to be ideal for the kids. You know, we've got the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, families uh, to be able to come over and enjoy that. You can really make a day of it. And, and people think Oktoberfest <laughs> is just somewhere where somebody goes out drinking. It really is a family event in, in, Germany. in Germany. And actually, it's a month long <laughs> event in Germany. We're doing it for two days. but. 
Um, it, it's nice. We have a cutout of a, of a German family, so you can stick your faces in there. With That's your, new. Yeah, we, we, we added on to it more okay, and more. Yeah. But yeah, it's so, you know, you want to take a photograph okay. in Lederhosen. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Are you going to wear your Lederhosen? <laughs> I wore it the first year. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know if it fits still. <laughs> Well, that's something uh, to, you know. Yes, I will have to pull that <laughs> hey, Maybe on the parade, on the float, you could wear it. I know. Remember first response. I'm going to be float, walking next to the float just to make sure that, um, you know, everything goes right. Sounds good. We will be walking the parade, though. Sounds good. <laughs> but, um, and the bands, uh, I know there were some, um, because we extended the hours, where I'm, I'm not exactly sure on the bands that are going to be there. We'll have... Um, uh, they're authentic German bands that'll be there, but the, the names I can't remember. But um, yeah. they play fantastic music. I know it's one or two of the ones we've had we've before. Had. Yeah, and uh, they love coming to play. So, uh, like, and be honest, also uh, the Huffer House in uh, uh, Rosemont closed. Oh, so that might make uh, that, some others available to us. It opens up a lot more bands. Mm -hmm. So, uh, plus it's that you could go every night and do October Festival. Now, people that might not have been able to go and do that as much might come to ours. That would so, be nice. And this is an event. It's not to try to get as many people as possible. It's an event, really, that's open to our residents, but also, you know, nearby people. Um, it's not a money-making thing. Well, you know, when you mentioned about the different organization, uh, you know, groups and so forth, and Microphone Brewery is our own brewery in Elk Grove Village. Are they involved again this year? Yes, they are. In fact, uh, now they're going to make two beers for us. I, I think well, we started this in like 16, I think. Weren't they sold out like that? Oh, they did. In fact, well, they're more IPA type beers, but I said, you know, you're a local beer. We're having this. Yes. You know, why can't, try to make an Oktoberfest? And he goes, okay, I'll try. And he did. It was phenomenal. It's, it's a great, well, he, now he sells it all the time oh. every year at this time of year well now he decided he's going to make another brew so we're going to have two types plus also um the same um kind of beers we had before like mm -hmm. if you want a budweiser if <clears throat> you want uh, there's a couple different german beers that are uh like say um well not stella but just some different uh lagers that uh, mm -hmm. come available that time of year plus there'll be soda there'll be water they're going to have... Um, root beer floats. Root beer floats. And then these seltzers that everybody's drinking now and things oh. like that. I know. it's. I'm <laughs> not, no. Not for Oktoberfest. But, you know, some people don't like beer. That's true. So they'll, it's like, every year it's different. They have those wine in the plastic. Now they have wine in cans. So yeah. there'll be stuff like that. But then the food is going to be, they'll have um, chicken schnitzel. They'll have uh, bratwurst. Um, potato salad, German potato salad, the red, sauerkraut. The red uh, cabbage. Red cabbage. We're going to have all sorts. You know, you can get a couple different, you can buy the sandwich, you can buy a plate. Oh, that's right, yes. And then you can also, you can buy sides if you want an extra side of. Oh, apple strudel. And apple strudel. Don't forget that. No, that's, now I'm getting hungry talking about <laughs> this. It, it, it's it's going to be, everything's tented also. We've added on over the years, we added sides. To the tent just, in, just case in case there is some kind of wind or or some kind of weather so the thing it will happen no matter what good um and again unless there's heavy lightning of course we won't have people Understood. out there but we'll have tables on the side we string lights in the field so it's it's a party atmosphere but um th we're gonna have hats again we will have hats that you can buy. Okay. And there's a new design for the mug coming. Oh. Um, it's, well, can we still bring our old mugs? You can bring your old mugs, and it'll be refilled for uh, one ticket less, which... That's a savings. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, again, you know, you're only going to... They're big mugs, so you'll they have are. one or two beers. They but are. They're big. Some people like to buy them and collect them, and, and they... Because um, we are have they different, different symbols. Every year? Well, we started off, we had a year on it when we first started. Right, and that's then, the one I have. <laughs> now we got, well, then we put a label over it oh, to do it, and no. then we just went with a di different design. Well, now we redesigned it, and it's uh, an elk with so a German have, hat on. So now I got to get another mug. <laughs> yeah. Well, two fisted, what the heck? There you go. You can buy it with a root beer float. 
Oh, that's when I got it mine. will come with the root That's when flow. I got mine, you know that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I didn't think so, but uh, like I said, the tent's all lighted. Uh, we're going to have plenty of parking. You can park at uh, well, Lions Park, the high school. The high school will have a, a, a football game on Friday night, but um, uh, so you know there'll still be some parking over there. But also, Queen of the Rosary lot yeah. will be open. And this isn't this isn't like a um, a concert that we would normally have on Fourth of July or even Rotary Fest. There's less people, which is good. We had probably. Two th a little over 2,000 people in the well, two nights. Well, it's a nights. coming and going, too. And that's You're, it. Yeah, that's... This isn't like, uh, you know, Rotary Fest. That's that's a big party for mm -hmm. a lot of people. This is more of just a, more laid back. It's yes. Like I said, it's family friendly. Um, we don't have a lot of wild things happening there. There's no carnival. So it's, uh, you know, just more people getting out before they... Uh, the bad weather comes. You know, Sounds wonderful. The end of the year. Well, Look, it, and looking forward to it. It was great that we were able to um, uh, encompass the parade and this. So it's like one whole day. Yes. It's like a, like you said, like a September type fest mm -hmm. um, that you know people can just enjoy the full day. And they, they like I said, they can come right after the parade and come and have uh, lunch or late lunch, and Early have their dinner. kids have fun. And then they can go home and get a babysitter and come back. <laughs> good point, good point. And the one thing that uh, we added this year, which we just need to do, I guess, is oh, no, we have fireworks. No, <laughs> yes. I didn't realize we were doing it for that, too. I didn't either <laughs> until the mayor came to us and said, we have quite a firework budget over the last couple of years. Well, and, we didn't uh, use it. No. And so he said, we're going to have a uh, firework display for Oktoberfest, which I think will probably be the that'll first be Saturday night? in the world. And that'll be Saturday night. It won't be Friday. No, just one night. Just night. Saturday night. And uh, I would assume about, well, it depends what time it gets dark then, but I would say around 9 o'clock or so. Yeah, yeah. That uh, we'll have the uh, fireworks. And as he always says, they'll be bigger and better. So, uh, <laughs> Well, the 4th of July's were phenomenal. Everybody they had told me were that they phenomenal. thought it was great. I, I really was awed. Yeah. You know, if you want to say mouth dropped open, yes, it was phenomenal. He did follow through on that. He did. He yeah. absolutely did. I can't guarantee uh, even just a few fireworks on October this would be, be different. good, but yeah. uh, I have a feeling I know he likes to have a good fireworks show. I think so. he's a pyromaniac. <laughs> well, it just won't let him anywhere near him. That's good all. Good idea. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. I think uh, pretty much uh, the food vendor will be Tasty Catering, has it, Always which good. it has been, um, and we do that because they, you know, the first thing is they they can do parties for two thousand people, and having the food ready to cook if they need it and on hand, they have the refrigeration trucks and everything. It, it's not like you just run out to the store and get They're more They're so experienced. Yeah, and, and they do it well. And, and when you look at the price, I mean, $10 for a meal, yeah. it's pretty good. I mean, yeah. you, you're not going to find that um, at any place. And so. it's very varied. You really can, everybody should be able to find something they like. Right. Uh, yes, right. perfect, perfect. So, yeah, so I think uh, if you haven't been out there, I think it really is something that uh, you should test this year. And good. See. And hopefully... We're going to have good luck and keep doing it for the next 20 years. We want to make sure that our residents and friends, family, have something to be able to enjoy together. And I think that's one thing Elk Grove uh, really does well. I think uh, you know someone that's having a good time forgets yeah. about some of the, all the issues that we're dealing with. And you just need to get out there every once in a while and just... Yeah. Let go, not too much, but, you know, unwind. So True. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good at that. I think so. So, well, hey, thank you for coming. I look forward to the parade. I'm glad that I can walk along the, uh, the uh, float, and the people on the float are the ones that deserve to be there. Absolutely. So it'll be nice to see that, and then uh, the Shriners. And then uh, Oktoberfest afterwards, I think we're going to... We have a nice September coming up. Yeah. It should be very, very help, uh, helpful for everybody and, you know, really joyous celebration. Looking forward to it. Thank you for having me. I oh, enjoyed it. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. And then soon we'll be talking about the, um, 
the uh, tree concert and tree lighting the tree ceremony. Lighting. Yes, so, yes, uh, and fireworks there. You're right. You know, you're right, Jeff. <laughs> He was denied when he was young or something like that. It That's had all to I be, can think yeah. of. But uh, well, we'll have to be safe on that. But sounds good. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. We'll be right back after this. Speakerswanted.org. Welcome back. I'd like to thank my guest, Nancy Zarnick, for being here. Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. It was great talking to her about the parade and also about upcoming Oktoberfest. Thank you for interviewing me again, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you at the parade and also Oktoberfest. Thanks again for watching this episode of In the Grove. And thank you again, Nancy, for being here. My pleasure. We'll see you next time.